Good morning, JT Soar, uh, Planning Operations Section Chief on the California Incident Management Team 12, uh, here to give an update on the McKinney Fire. We are currently at 95% contained, 60,392 acres. Uh, starting over here on the west side, we do have about a mile and a half to two miles of uncontained line. Uh, that is really rugged country. It's in the timber. Um, we have folks working in there and there's not a lot of heat on the line, but due to the uh, snags and logs and stuff that could roll out, uh, that's kind of why it's still showing uh, uncontained. Uh, we have been working that area um, as long as some of the country down to the southwest as well uh, with helicopters during the day try and knock out any heat in some, some places that might have potential for reburn uh, or to throw sparks outside of our lines. Uh, the north side is looking really good. Uh, again, we've had a few heats here and there in some of that remote country, uh, but we have resources on the line. Uh, they are still actively engaged, patrolling, uh, keeping an eye out for those things, which is really uh, important with this hot, dry weather we have coming up, uh, especially with the winds. Uh, moving around, as we come back to the south side, uh, Cal Fire's been doing a really great job of rehabbing the suppression lines down there, the dozer lines, uh, the hand lines. Uh, they should be done with that the next few days, and the repair is going to be a lot heavier on the uh, National Forest side, where we're still kind of in those control operations. Uh, continuing with that, we will have the repair operations um, probably for the foreseeable, foreseeable future. Um, with how much dozer lines out there, we're still pulling hose, we still have this stuff to do, but we also still have this piece of uncontained line, so we're not trying to rush that. Uh, we're trying to really take our time, make sure that stuff gets done appropriately, and, uh, and not rush and getting stuff off uh, as far as um, you know, the, the actual suppression, uh, suppression side of it. With that, uh, knowing that we have potential lightning coming, you know, it is the middle of August in Northern California. Uh, we'll also be assisting with initial attack on both the Klamath National Forest and the Siskiyou Cal Fire uh, unit. Um, we, we've had uh, smokes internal. Uh, like I said, we've been addressing them. We will probably continue to see those for the next few weeks. Um, anything that's gonna be visible from the highway or the communities, you know, we're aware we still have people out looking at those. So, um, you know, that's, that's just something to be expected. That's something that we're, we see regularly for these long period uh, durations in the timber fuel type. Uh, we've been utilizing some, some uh, specific uh, specialized resources, including unmanned aerial systems. Uh, that's been really helpful at night looking for those hot spots along the lines and farther interior at night uh, using infrared cameras. Uh, that's kind of what, what we've got going on, um, the plan moving forward. So we would like to thank the, um, the Klamath National Forest and Siskiyou Unit Cal Fire uh, for their continued help and support. And then, of course, the community for hosting us. You know, it's, uh, we're here to help you guys, and uh, we, just, we really appreciate the support that you give back to us as we're here, um, you know, already into your, your community and your home for the time being. So uh, thank you.